My name's Tony Hiles. Um, I'm the operations manager for this facility at Newport. The operation is a 24-hour operation. The fridges that actually come into this facility, they can come from anywhere within the UK. On average, there's potentially 10 to 15,000 fridges on a weekly basis. We actually process every fridge that is brought in through the facility. What is happening in the yard is a lorry has actually gone across to the Weybridge and then from that point onwards the fridge load is brought over here and then the guys are unloading these fridges. My name is Debbie James, I'm an articulated lorry driver. Today I'm carrying end of life fridges, roughly 200 of them brought back from another site. There are lorries coming in with fridges every day. What the guys are doing here is they're opening the fridge doors to remove any loose shelving. Once all the cabling, all the shelving, all the doors have been removed, right behind me what the guy is actually doing here is using a tool very similar to what the fire service used and he's making two cuts on the plate that houses the compressor so he can safely remove that compressor. That pot then is set for further recycling. We're then moving on to the next part of the process where we move from manual, which is labour intensive, onto automatic. So what is actually happening now behind me is the, the operator is batch feeding fridges up to the in-fee conveyor. Once the fridges enters the in-fee conveyor, we then introduce liquid nitrogen. This is used as a carrier for the CFC gases and it's to prevent explosions. Once this amount of fridges are fed up into the in conveyor, they then drop into the cross grinder where the fridges are actually pulverised and all those products are broken down into various sizes. After the shredding has taken place, because that liquid nitrogen is used, all the product is moist. So it's important then that the remainder of the products are then dried using drying screws. The foam that we have left goes over a vibrating sieve and then goes into a bagging station. Then your steel, your non-ferrous and your plastic continues to go up at another screw where magnetic fields separate the steel from the non-ferrous product. Then what you can see behind me is known as an any current separator where we separate the non-ferrous product. The product that you can see behind me is the actual steel or the ferrous product that comes from the fridge. So once it's gone over the eddy current separator, it then continues to fall up a chute and then drops off into this dedicated bunker. 65 to 70% of the fridge contains steel, plastic 12% and then the remaining items are your, your CFCs and your oils. From our point of view in terms of recycling, it's only the, the CFC gases that are sent for incineration purposes and the polyurethane foam is sent for landfill. Apart from that, all the products that we, we generate here are further recycled and put back into the manufacturing.